So 31 Senate Republicans opposed Sandy Relief after supporting disaster aid for their own home states. Now, we had discussed the preliminary bill. There was a $9 billion bill that was passed a couple weeks ago, right? And we discussed the number of Republicans in the House who voted against that. Well, now we finally got the passage of the full bill. The full bill was about $60 billion. This part of the bill was the, the bulk of the bill. $50.5 billion was in this bill. And look, I mean, after, you would think that after, you know, the world flipped out when we found that there was a tremendous number, 60-something Republicans, if I'm remembering the number correctly, uh, of people that voted against the $9 billion relief bill, you would think that after everybody flipped out, and look, credit to John Stewart did a great thing about this, you heard, honestly, even on CNN and some of the more vanilla news stations, even they were like, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Why are you voting against this? That's crazy, right? But again, apparently the Senate did not learn their lesson and they decided to vote like Neanderthal, barbarian, uh, knuckle-dragging morons. So listen to this. Uh, the Senate passed the long delay. This is, it's longer than we were expecting now. There have been a lot of people that have desperately been waiting for this money. The $50.5 billion Hurricane Sandy relief package. 36 Republicans total voted against the bill. Of the 36, 32 no votes came from senators who are uh, people who have voted for other forms of relief aid when it is for their own district. In fact, some of these senators have literally uh, gone on the floor of the Senate and begged for federal aid for uh, a bad weather event that happened in their area. I will now read you the entire list of these hypocritical, immoral, unethical, douchebag Republicans. Kelly Iote, John Barrasso, Roy Blunt, John Boozman, Richard Burr, Saxby Chambliss, Dan Coates, Tom Coburn, Bob Corker, John Cornine, Mike Crapo, Mike Enzi, Lindsey Graham, Chuck Grassley, Orrin Hatch, James Inhofe, Johnny Isaacson, Mike Johans, Ron Johnson, Mark Kirk, Mike Lee, John McCain, Mitch McConnell, Jerry Moran, Rand Paul, Rob Portman, Pat Roberts, Marco Rubio, Jeff Sessions, John Thune, Pat Toomey. So I'm going to go ahead, when I put this video on YouTube, I'll put a link to an article that lists all their names. I will list all their names in the description area. And I want all of you guys to spread the word that these particular Republicans are an extra level of Neanderthalic, barbarian, immoral, unethical pricks. Look, I, I want to be clear here, guys. It's one thing if you say to me, look, I believe in small government as a matter of principle, right? Uh, it's just a conviction of mine, and I don't waver from that. I'm from the Rand Paul school of thought, the Ron Paul libertarian school of thought, right? That's, that's fine. But if you do that, right, and by the way, that's a hard case to make. I don't agree with you, but you can make that case uh, from an intellectual perspective. But here's the thing. If you take that position, the only way you're being intellectually honest is if you say, hey, you know what? I believe in this, whether or not it's for people in my district or whether or not it's for people who were affected by Hurricane Sandy in New York. But that's exactly the thing. These 31 Republicans, there is no principle that they're voting on. There's no belief system. There's no philosophical position. They're just flat out immoral, unethical douchebags who say, when it's me and when it's pe people in my district, I want you to run in and give me all of the federal help that I ask for. All the time. Whenever I want it, you give me the federal help, right? But when it's people I don't know in a different state, fuck them. I don't know them. What are you, children? You cover your eyes and you think, oh, well, since I can't see them, they don't exist. Yeah, that's how I vote. You're pathetic. You're the reason why the Republican Party is going extinct. You're the reason why so many countries in the, in, around the world look at the United States of America like we're an embarrassment because of backwoods, hillbilly hick fucks like you who have no immoral or ethical, bo no moral or ethical bone in their body.